Is my grandpa secretly Commissioner Gordon? What burger of the day do I want to eat today? How does Ben Grimm have children? How is Hope going to get herself out of this one? Hmm. Let's have a conversation. Hello. Welcome to Conversations with the Goo. I'm the Goo, and we're going to have a conversation. This week, I thought we'd talk about best friends. So, my whole life, I was a military brat. Every, like, three to four years, we moved somewhere new. It became really hard for me to make friends. Uh, every time I would... I've had friends over the years, like I, my, my first best friend I can remember making was Aaron Ishii in uh, Grand Forks, North Dakota. And uh, you know, after about three years I moved away and I've never heard from him again. And uh, tried looking him up on Facebook, but you know, there's actually a lot of people named Aaron Ishii, so um, didn't work out very well. but. Um, I also had my same same place in Grand Forks. Uh, one of my best friends was Sherry Rubishki. And now, funny enough, we've actually somehow stayed in contact all these years. Uh, when I moved to, I moved, K.I. Sawyer was before Grand Forks. I met her in K.I. Sawyer, and then K.I. Sawyer shut down. And then we moved to Grand Forks, and then she just happened to move to Grand Forks as well. Um, I met her in first grade, and that's a long time ago. Uh, but that was, yeah, that was in Michigan in K.I. Sawyer Air Force Base. Um, and then that shut down because they turned it into an Indian reservation, and that's when we moved. Well, then her dad ended up getting stationed in Grand Forks as well, so she moved there after about a, a year of not you know, not know, not being able to talk. Uh, I think we randomly emailed each other on a parent's email address because we were so young back then. Um, but you know, then we hung out and then we moved from Grand Forks to Virginia and she stayed up in Grand Forks and we stayed in contact quite a few years. Uh, then, then she moved back up to Michigan and that's when I found out when we were visiting my grandma's cabin, they lived like an hour and a half away from my grandma's cabin. So during the summer, we would get get together and hang out. Um, and then we moved, that's when we moved from Virginia to Pennsylvania and our relationship became like very erratic. We rarely spoke um, online once and now and then um, until I moved back to Michigan and she's still living in Michigan. So we started talking again. Now she lives in Grand Rapids and she just had a baby um, congratulations on the baby. Uh, you still didn't tell me if you ended up having it on my birthday or not. Uh, I'm probably really, really busy right now because she literally just gave birth uh, like 20 days ago. But um, eventually she'll be able to talk again. Um, what, 18 years? <laughs> um, but yeah, so, so then in, when we lived in Virginia, Virginia was where we moved and we were never supposed to leave Virginia. That was supposed to be actually got a home outside the base um so our, the plan was that was going to be our forever home you know obviously until me and my sister grew up moved away but like that was where we were supposed to stay i became best friends with charlie bush and i mean we did everything together we went to uh there was bush gardens not like really close by we would get like season passes and um the one summer we went like every weekend we were like going to bush gardens and uh it was so much fun and uh, I actually had that kind of friendship that you see like Sean and Corey on Boy Meets World and then it stopped you know I was the nerdy one and he was the cool one that everyone was friends with and um, I was jealous of him and uh, but you know he, he made sure he never made me feel like I was the dork uh, it was like he just wanted to hang out and have fun you know he didn't care that he was cool and popular and uh, but my dad passed away in 2001 and when that happened, my mom decided to move us to Pennsylvania where his family was at. Because living in Virginia, we didn't have any family around. 
and she only had her mom and sister up in Michigan, whereas in Pennsylvania we have his, his brother, his two sisters, his dad, his mom, you know, uh, all of their kids. It's a huge, huge family. And um, I never had another best friend like that. I had close friends. I don't want my friends, if they watch this, to think that I'm not, I didn't like them. It's just, I didn't have the one friend that, you know, me and him hung out all the time. It was more, I had a bunch of friends that would come over and they each had their own, um, like Nate and Zach to me were like, they were the best friends, you know, they were always together and stuff. And um, I, I just, I would always end up alone and wishing I had that kind of best friend. And my social anxiety didn't help in building a friendship either because I was just used to always losing my friends. and. Uh, now, now I'm, I'm an old man, uh, 33 years old, and uh, I have a best friend, uh, Feige, but, um, you know, we hang out a lot. It's just, it's, he's my only friend, and I've lived up here for 10 years. I have, I have a lot of people I'm friendly with, a lot of acquaintances. I like to, to joke around and uh, act like Ron Swanson. Uh, we're not friends. We're just close, pro close proximity workplace acquaintances. But you know, I, I just, it's hard when you know, most of the pe my coworkers are a lot younger than me. Um, and then I go to school and I don't really meet anyone that lives anywhere near me at school. It doesn't help that I'm not very talkative because like I said, I, I'm just, I'm shy, I have social anxiety. So I just, I have my one best friend, and maybe that's all that I need. <laughs> but I've always wanted to have that um, that one friend, you know, like uh, Turk and JD on Scrubs, uh, someone to goof around with and do things with. Maybe I'm too old for that now. Who knows? But I thought we could have a conversation. Let me know down in the comments. Do you have a best friend? Who's your best friend? Are you guys super close? Uh, is there a... Um, a best friend uh, TV show equivalent, Corey and Sean, Turk and JD. Um, see, I'm blanking on other ones. Those are just my two of my favorite shows. <laughs> um, maybe you have a friend like uh, Jim and Dwight, you know, or you guys think you're not friends, but you really are. Um, <laughs> just let, let me know down in the comments. Uh, give shout outs to your best friends down there. Uh, tell me how long you've known them. Maybe do you have a friend like I do, my friend Sherry, where you guys kept moving all over the place and still ended up living together in the same spot? Let me know down there. And uh, let's have a fun conversation. Just shout out about your best friends. And uh, as always, you don't need to have superpowers to be a hero.